Hello, all the giant pumpkin growers of the world. So my name is Justin Fossum. I am a giant pumpkin grower in Western South Dakota. And this year I've decided to start my own YouTube channel, like a few others who have done before me, to document my 2022 season, to show you how I kind of do things, and to share a few tips and other things I have learned over the past three years I've been doing this. I'm still fairly new to this and I'm trying to learn and get better too. So if you see anything that I'm doing wrong or could be doing better or differently, please, please comment in the comment sections down below. So it has been absolutely outrageously difficult for me to decide what I'm going to grow this year. There are so many good seeds out there and I only have room to grow one main plant and one small pollinator plant. I have second guessed myself countless times, but I'm going with a 1940 Arena by 1953 Deletus Cross. So huge shout out to Kevin Marsh and Leonardo Urena for sharing me these seeds. They're awesome seeds. So thank you. Thank you so, so much. So let's get seed starting. So the first thing that I do is mix a seaweed solution. So we have two cups of warm water here, and then I'm going to add one 30 second teaspoon of seaweed powder. So that goes in like this and just mix it around good, let it dissolve. And I've preheated my germination chamber to 84 degrees, so I'm gonna just, after mixing this, put that in there. Okay, that looks good. So here's my germination chamber. So the seaweed solution goes inside this. So let me just grab that. Okay, this is to keep it warm until we are ready to soak the seeds. So the next thing I do is file the seeds. So here are the 1940 arena seeds. So I'm starting three of them, um, kind of taking the uh, Ruben Mendy's approach about starting as many seeds as you can and trying to pick the best plant. So uh, I use an emery board, just a nail file basically, and uh, just lightly file the edges. Don't file the tip, just go around the edges. And you should see kind of an un uninterrupted straight yellow line kind of, and that's when you know you're done. So let's just do that. So I finished filing the other two seeds and I took the seaweed solution out of the germination chamber. So this is actually Mike Schmidt's tip here. So we're going to put the seeds in this paper towel here. We're going to fold it up like so. It's going to go like this. It's going to fold up like this and then like this and then it'll likely be like this. Gummy style, okay, so something like this, and then basically when the paper towel gets wet, it'll kind of fully submerge the seeds and not just have them float on the top. So let's do that. Okay, so that those are now fully submerged. Now that's gonna go in the germination chamber at 84 degrees for six hours. Okay, so it's been six hours, and I just removed the seeds from the seaweed solution, and I just stamped them off with a paper towel. So now we're ready to start germinating. So let's take a paper towel, fold in half once, fold in half again, okay, then submerge it in warm water. Try not to wrinkle it too much. Pull it up, okay. And we're just gonna take a towel over here, place the paper towel on the towel. Okay, and take another towel and sandwich them. Just kind of damp them off, not pressing most of the water out of the paper towel. You do not want a wet paper towel. You will rot your seeds. Okay, so just kind of get most of the water out. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, so once you do that, just towel aside. Okay, then we're gonna unfold once. Okay, unfold once. And we're gonna put our seed in like that. You can see that. Okay, fold in half like this. And then take a Ziploc bag, open it up, and then just carefully slide paper towel in the Ziploc bag. Make sure you label your Ziploc bags. So you know, we have the regimen 
mechanics here. Okay, so I kind of partly seal mine. I leave a little air there. I don't want to fully seal it. That's something like that. Okay. So, so I just repeated that same process for the other two seeds. And now all three 1940 arena seeds are in Ziploc bags. So let me just close the germination chamber. So it's holding at 84 degrees. So hopefully within 36 hours or so, uh, we'll have roots spoken out of the seeds and then we'll get to transplanting them into some seed starting mix. So see you then. So yesterday night, two of the three seeds germinated and I just went ahead and put them in pots. But today the third seed germinated and I'm just gonna show you how I transplant them. So right here I've got two and a half cups of black gold seedling mix in this big bowl here. And then I got other little products I'm gonna to add to that. So um, first we're gonna add um, one half tablespoon of mycorrhizal inoculant. It's like mycorrhizal fungi. Okay, so that goes in like that. And then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of just some granular fertilizer, it can be your kind of anything. This is, I think, 10, 10, 10. Then I have a teaspoon of bone meal. Then I have a teaspoon of molasses. Then I have a teaspoon of azos, which is nitrogen fixing bacteria. Come on, there we go. And then finally, I have a teaspoon of root shield. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix all that up with this spoon here. Okay, and then to that, I add one third cup of warm water. Here goes the water. We're gonna take the seedling mix scoop it into this 0 0.25 gallon or quart plant pot. So something like that. Okay. So now here is the seed and you can kind of see the little root coming out of it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Oopsie. I'm gonna make a little slit in the plant pot. So like this, kind of a bit of a hole. Like something like that. Okay, careful. Okay, and then tip down, at least that's what I like to do. Some people like to put it flat, but I like to put it tip down. Okay, so then you want to be careful to not snap the root off when you do this, so. Um, be careful not to do that. Okay, hold well, so on, you need to make the hole a little wider. <laughs> about a quarter inch or so below the surface. Okay, so now this goes in the germination chamber. So here's the germination chamber and all three seeds are in their plant pots. I have a little PC fan going to keep air circulation so nothing gets too funky. So hopefully within two to three days, we'll have seeds popping up through the surface of the seedling mix. So thanks for watching. This is sadly the end of this episode. Um, but hopefully you learned something or got something out of it. Um, next episode will be when the uh, seedlings germinate and then we put them under LED lights and take care of them indoors during that stage. So I'll offer more tips and how I do things. And so hopefully you can learn more stuff. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe and then stay tuned to the next episode. So see you then. Bye.